Tanner Flowers here back home in Tennessee guys and I am running just wide open guys as hard as I can go I'm getting ready to leave Cleveland right now and head over to Jasper Tennessee it's about an hour drive I've got to go inspect a crawl space over there I've got a family that's just moved there from California of all places they've been looking at crawl space videos online they've already found the best they've called me up let's go see what we can find out ever since last week's pond builds Seems like I've been getting a ton of new subscribers, so I want to stop real quick and say thank you to each and every single one of you that has made the decision to go ahead and smash that subscribe button on my channel. I want to welcome you to the channel. You never know what you're going to get to see with me. I never know what I'm going to be getting into myself, but I want to welcome you and thank you genuinely from the bottom of my heart. Leave me a comment below, and guys, as you'll go ahead and see if you take any notice at all, I do my very best to respond to each and every comment. For those of you that haven't seen the Tennessee River before, we're now cutting through Chattanooga, Tennessee. We're making our way like we're going towards Nashville. And then here shortly, within a couple more miles, we'll be at the Jasper exit. And then I'm going to have to touch base with Robert because this house that I'm headed to, it must be a new construction because I am not pulling it up on the GPS. Now we're going across Nickajack Dam. Check this out. I've always thought this was a beautiful trip going over this bridge. If you look to the right or if you look to the left check that out water as far as you can see and I really wish I could have got you guys a shot of all those trees several weeks ago before all the leaves had fallen off because if you guys wanted to see a sight to see man it was definitely that every time I come through here I'm just mesmerized whenever the trees are uh, all changing color so man I wish you guys could have seen that I see that building right there to my right I just remembered years ago they had had a problem with feral cats they were all around their loading docks going inside their building and guys i had to go out there i don't know how many trips i don't know how many cats that i ended up catching there but i caught a I ended up catching a ton of feral cats they were i'm telling you they were eat up with them man that's been years ago i think it's probably like 2008. told you guys it must be a nice place dang they got their own welcome center ha! <laughs> and guys just when you think you're getting somewhere you come around another turn and guess what it just keeps going but look look over here to my right we're getting higher and higher guys and guys you remember all that rock work that we used on the ponds last week that was all Tennessee stone check it out it's all over the place we've got some of the best rock in the country right here at home hang on real quick guys you got to I gotta share this view with you guys. Hang on, check this out. Dang. All right, let me make sure that there's no cars coming. Okay. Dude. Check this out, guys. Come on, Tanner, can you get it in the shot? Let me stand up on this guardrail here. Everybody knows I'm, I should have been in the, in the circus, guys. I'm like a gymnast. I could walk this whole rail. Look at, look at this, guys. Check out that view, guys. Wow. Ugh. Okay, guys. Let's get back up that road and see if we can find this house. Robert's expecting me. <laughs> I love driving right through these rocks like this. Check this out, guys. You guys got this stuff where you live? We've got quite a bit of it up here in Tennessee. Check it out how they just cut this roadway right through the middle of these rocks. This is my first time in here. Check out this bridge that they've got overhead right here really really enjoying the drive-in definitely excited to see the houses coming up on a new construction here that there's a new construction right here to our right here we're at the entrance hold up one second guys I got I've got to enter in this gate code how cool is that I'm not sure what's on the other side but so far definitely an awesome community and here we are guys now let's get out and see what is taking place here let's see if i can get this in the shot guys we're just out here talking and a deer just ran up right there it is if you guys can see right there so just deer back here everywhere looking at us right now that's so cool i'm sitting here talking with robert now and he told me don't put him in this video but guys what robert's sitting here telling me this job's been done what a little over five months and you guys paid over $3,000 for what I'm about to see. Is that correct? Yeah. That's correct. So guys, what you're about to see right now is over $3,000 wasted. 
They might as well took that three thousand something dollars and pour gasoline on it and set it on fire. And you think by being in a million dollar subdivision, you'd see million dollar quality work being done. But you're about to see just like I've been seeing for years and just like I've been trying to tell all of you for so many years running. You're going to find out why so many people choose to do business with me. Because contrary to what you might believe, what you're about to see, this is the alternative. Once we get down into this crawl space right here, keep in mind, Robert was told they had an encapsulation. So guys, those of you that have seen any of our encapsulation videos, how does this compare? Look at those piers, guys. Look at everybody else's encapsulation work. What we got here? We got some... We got some black gorilla tape. We've got some uh, looks like contractor bags. Oh man, look how good this is sealed at the bottom right here. That is great. Three thousand something dollars, guys. That's what it gets you. Look here. If we go right over here, where all this ground is sloped towards this direction, what do we have under here? Oh, you mean this is full of water? I can't. I can't believe it. Look at this dehumidifier right here. I've never heard of this brand. You know why we only use Santa Fe dehumidifiers? Well, because right here, you'll see 58%. He says this thing has ran 24 seven for over five months now. And the lowest they have ever seen it is 57%. Guys, look at this joke right here at these vents. You see this foam, you see this foam right here? Do you know what a mouse or a rat does to this? It may as well not even be there. And if you look on top of this existing poly, look at all that dirt residue. I can tell, guys, that water has been on top of this poly. And when you get right here in front of me, look here. We've got standing water all the way back over here to this pier. This is all solid mud. There is no French drain system here. All this water is left. I would like to have seen this during a rain because if it's this wet right here, three or four days after a rain, could you imagine what it was like during a rain? This little entry right here to our right. Robert wants me to get inside here and see if... Come on, let's go. There's any standing water inside here. I'm inside underneath the sunroom now. And look right down here. It's going to be hard for you guys to see in the video. Got standing water below my feet. I feel it. Oh, check it out, guys. There's your water bed. Let's lift this up. Look here. Everybody else is encapsulation work. Look how good this is seamed right here. Oh, man. Look here. Let's see. How, look here. That's probably four inches deep of water. So, do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. My gracious goodness. I just got my feet soaked. So, guys, I can't even walk forward to that wall. That's probably 10 inches deep of water. That just came all the way up over my pants. Oh, my goodness telling you guys right now so just imagine just imagine that you just moved all the way from freaking california and you came down here to get your dream home and you done spent nearly four thousand dollars in hopes of trying to correct all this bull crap and you're finding out right now that all that money you spent whew, may as well just threw it out the window wish they would have found out about me sooner check this out guys wherever i step solid water man all the way around this entire sunroom. All right, guys, let's see if we can get back out of this hole right now and go check out the rest of this crawl space. Tight fit. And the bad thing about what you're seeing right there is that anytime you got a whole crawl space sectioned off from the existing crawl space, that is just like they did in addition. And guys, I'm more than likely going to have to install another small dehumidifier inside there because if we just put our large dehumidifier system out here and hope that it takes care of all that, trying to pull all of that moisture inside there, which I know it's going to be a ton, especially with how much water's in there, trying to pull all that through that little point right there, that's going to be extremely difficult to do. Let's carry on. Okay, guys, let's move forward now. I'm going along the back side of this home. Let's see what we see over here to the left. I cannot believe these piers guys this may not mean much to you guys that don't know much about this service but guys these people were led to believe that they had an encapsulation job and from what i'm seeing here and what i've been showing you guys this does not qualify as an encapsulation right here along this back wall you see that dirt residue right here that is where water has been standing and if we look right here against this wall i'll lift this up look at all the standing water underneath here 
That's why I'm telling you guys, this house is going to have to have a French drain system to collect this water, channel it to a basin area, likely over there uh, at the crawl space entry because it looks like everything's channeling that way anyway, and then discharge this water outside of the home. There's some more of those uh, rodent proof uh, vent sealing jobs that these other companies do. What a joke. Guys, let's go forward here. Look at all this water. Oh man. Check it out. At least we don't have to remove insulation on this job. This insulation here is in pretty good shape. As you can see a little bit of fungus growing on this wood through here. And guys, people freak out when they see this and they automatically try to start selling these homeowners a job to try to come in here and treat all this crap. Guys, anything you see, mold, fungus, or mildew, it's got to have oxygen, moisture, and a food source in order to survive. You eliminate any of those three things from the equation, it cannot survive. Once we get our moisture levels in a crawl space below 50% and keep them there year round, none of that can survive. So if you want to go ahead and waste your money and let somebody sell you something that's probably over $1,000 to come here and spray those couple dots be my guest i'm standing back here in the far corner of the home now let's make our way to the right move forward and go back up towards the front of this house now and what i'm currently seeing guys over here if you'll notice the distance in between these two piers and see this big trench that's going in between them guys this water is going to fall into the lowest points and hold itself there and make its way to a lower point the lowest point of all and if you don't believe that look inside this trench here at how muddy all of this is and like i said all that water's just been making its way towards that back wall of the home Moving right along now, guys, more of the bull crap, uh, wannabe sealed up vents job to our right that you'll notice. Look at all this crap, guys. Look how, look at this. I do not see how these companies get any business. I don't see how the ones that are getting it stay in business. And I don't see how a lot of you homeowners aren't willing to get online and do research on companies before you decide to dig down in your pockets and give them all this money and end up with a big bull crap job just like these people have. Because luckily, Robert's already been doing his homework now. He's already compared me to other companies and he knows, he knew when he called me what he's gonna be getting. So guys, if you wanna see what we're gonna to do to make this place be perfect, not to worry about these moisture problems no more, stay tuned. Hopefully we're gonna have a video coming very soon showing you just that. That wall that you see up here ahead of us now is the front wall of the home. Looks like we've got a heavy, heavy trench going along the front of it and sides leading to these piers. Let's go up here and take a peek down in here and see. Look at this, guys. Drew, Mike, look at the competition, guys. Look how good that is. Wow. God, I just... That, God, that pisses me off, man. Imagine if this was your friggin' mama. Imagine if this was your mom and dad's house or your grandparents' house and they just spent all this hard-earned money to some... I don't even, and hey, I don't know who did this job. I told them don't even tell me. That way I can't badmouth nobody. I don't even want, want to know who did it. Because if I knew who did this job, you can rest assured I'd be telling every single one of you right now so you guys wouldn't waste your hard earned money with them. Like I said earlier, guys, the insulation's all in pretty good shape. I don't really see a need to remove any or add new. They've got it sealed all the way over to the box seal. That's great. Right back there is that back wall of the home where we just came down. I was showing you all that water. Here we are coming up to another series of piers. Look in between the piers, just like back there. All solid mud where that water's been channeling and making its way down to that back wall. See that trench right here to my right, guys? It's pretty common to see these trenches in crawl spaces. But if we do all the French drain work around this house, we will level those up with our backfill gravel. This house will take a lot of gravel, that is for sure. I'm up here in the front corner of the home now. The crawl space entry is just down that way to the right. Let's look to our right right here and go down the rest of this front wall. Wow, looks like we've got a heavy, heavy trench just right here ahead of us. I see standing water within the trench. I mean, just throw that poly down on top of that water, boys. They'll pay us for it. I mean, I, I mean, can you imagine, guys, what? Guys, tell me in the comments below, what do you think goes through these pieces of crap's minds when they're down here doing this so-called job for people? No, I mean, you know good and well they know they're half-assing it. They got to. How could anybody do this right here? How could anybody do that and call that quality? How could anybody do that right there and say you even tried? Look at that. 
that ain't even trying, guys. So if you want somebody to come out to your house, not just take your money, but to get in there and don't even try at all with what they're doing, huh, call somebody else. I'm getting ready to make my last little run back towards the uh, entryway of the crawl space. And I'm just sitting there thinking about what all we need to do here. I mean, I know we need to do an inside perimeter French drain. We need to do a French drain line connecting all of these See the, see how these piers are all in line? It's the same way there and the same way down there. We need to make a trench line going all the way down here. So any of this water that's collecting is going to be channeled down to that back wall and sent over to our basin area. Got another cut out here. Look at that crap. They taped that to the wall right there and draped it all the way out across here. Not seen anywhere on this ground whatsoever. Coming up now, you'll see this dehumidifier again up here on our left. And I was telling Robert, I've never seen this dehumidifier before. I'm not familiar with this brand. I don't know its performance. I, I, don't, I don't know anything about it. But here's what I do know, guys. We don't change anything on our jobs. And that's why I can confidently tell every homeowner exactly how our jobs are going to come out. And that's why nothing ever changes, because what we're doing works. Guys, if what we were doing didn't work, I'd be changing things, guys. But I can't put my name or my reputation against this right here, because we were asking, would that right there suffice in that, uh, in that addition over there underneath that sunroom? And... The truth is, I don't know that it will or not. I know that it's running inside here right now. They've got that duck kit on it, and I know it ain't never been below 57%. And outside right now, it's really cold here in Tennessee. And anybody that knows anything about moisture knows that when it gets real cold outside, all these moisture levels go down on their own. So these moisture levels, they should be down anyway. And there's still nearly 60% under here. Guys, whenever we finish the job... I tell every homeowner, if you see that monitor reach above 50%, give me a call. That's the detective here. Something ain't right. If it's above 50, something ain't right, guys. So this is definitely, definitely, definitely not right. And let's go back out here now and finish talking to Robert. I'm going to go up here real quick. I'm going to share some of this raw footage with Robert. Okay, guys, I just finished talking to Robert and his mother. I'm going to go out here to my truck right now. And I'm getting ready to graph this entire home. This graph that I'm about to make, this graph is what's going to give me all of my measurements and that is what's going to go on our worksheet that I price every single job we do here at Tennessee Technicians. So let me get this stuff prepared and ready. And guys, I like using a 40 foot tape measure because with a 40 footer, very seldom do I run out of space uh, on the tape measure. And guys, this is how all of our jobs start with a blank graph. Let's go get some measurements. I typically like to start all of my graphs off over here at the front left corner of the home. So I'm getting ready to head over there to that point. Really hard to hold this tape measure and film guys. But if you can see from that corner right down there to right here is 18 feet. Now let's get that marked on the graph. And I'm about to make that 18 foot mark on there right now. But guys, if you'll come over here and look, about three feet from each corner, you'll see a vent right there. We've got another foundation vent right here. And I'm gonna mark both of those on the graph with little bitty X's. If you'll see right here, here is our 18 foot line that has a seven foot run back to that wall right there. It goes 10 feet over to our right. Let me get all that drawn on here. All right, guys, I've got to get the measurement from there to there and from there to there. We'll get that going down that garage. I'll get it all transferred to the graph. From this point right here, we've got 19 feet. That's going to be 7, 17, 19. And then 17 feet up. That's 10. That'd be 20 here. 19, 18, 17. Boom. Let me connect those dots. I was telling you guys how I put the vents on here. So everywhere you see a little X just like that, that represents where our foundation vents are. Now... Let's take these measurements and get the rest of this garage laid out. And that point right over there to here was 13, three foot step out. And now let's see what we got right here. 13, three, and 13 again. 13, three, 13. I'm measuring down the side of this garage right now. And you're seeing exactly why, like using a 40 foot tape measure, we got 36 feet right here. I just about ran out. If I'd had a 25 foot tape measure like most of you use, I'd have been running out of line right back there. I got the whole front of the house now. I've got it all on paper. I've got all the way down the side of this garage and I'm getting ready to turn this final corner right here. Check it out on the graph. Boom, starting to take shape. Here we go. There's the back wall of the house now. You'll see that cut out right here. And when I get right here to this corner, I've got to go climb out of the fence because I can't get through here. But guys, there's that all the way to this point right here. 
is right there. So this is the sunroom here, guys. That's what you've seen on the inside that was all full of water there. We've got to make that corner right here and go to there, and we'll have this graph complete. Robert and I just seen the deer take off running down the hill, guys. And if you look, I was getting this measurement right here, right here at the deck. And look, those deer have been coming literally right here at this deck. Speaking of this deck, can you guys tell how much that ground is settling right there from all this moisture? Look at those steps. So that's probably dropped, what do you think, Robert, six inches or so? Yeah. Man. I just finished the graph up here. You see that right there? I've got to go inside the crawl space real fast and mark off exactly where all these piers are. Stay with me. If you see these little squares on the graph now, what I'm doing, I'm down here inside the crawl space. I'm taking into account how many piers there are and exactly where they're at underneath this foundation. I've got all the piers marked. We've got a row of three, five, two, four, four, and five. I've got to mark off that foundation wall right here. I'm going to head to the house now and get to working on this graph. Robert, man, I appreciate you letting me come out here and take a look at this house for you guys. Um, as soon as I get home, I'll get to work on this graph. I'll get everything finished up and sent over to you as soon as I can. Is that all cool? Right, man. All right, man. I'll see you later. Right. Guys, thank you all so much for following along. Welcome all the new subscribers here to the family. If you don't mind, go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me. Go ahead and drop me a comment below. Let me know if your house has a moisture problem. Let me know if someone you know or love has got a moisture problem. And let me know if you need help getting that moisture problem taken care of. And guys, I appreciate all of you following along as usual, and I can't wait to talk to all of you again in the next video.